can, I don't know if you can see a person, that's on the top of uh, 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 Evil. It's the um, highest mountain in the Glen Peninsula. But I'm not climbing that today, I'm going to go down to, uh, uh, descend down to a Welsh heritage uh, village. We're doing a circular walk. Uh, I think it's a quite a popular place uh, because this car park has already got to what, maybe getting on to 50 cars. probably won't be the only one going down there today. By the way, it's quite breezy today, so uh, vast numbers of people are here. This is the first time I've been on this particular walk. And uh, I noticed uh, this is the middle of September. It's a weekday, Friday. And uh, th I think there's, well, I think the millions of people possibly that go to Europe this time of year are now coming, are now coming here to this neck of the woods. Uh, I've never seen so many people really here. Uh, they're taking their, uh, well, their holidays and it's still basically uh, summery type weather. Uh, here instead of going to Europe. Uh, unfortunately it has clouded over a bit. It was forecast wall-to-wall -wall sunshine so it may clear up a bit later on. And uh, all those uh, tracks you can see on that opposite hillside is when uh, all this was uh, heavily quarried at one time. It's interesting down there. <laughs> a little little farmstead. Well, it doesn't look looks though like it's abandoned, but you can see the the uh, another car coming. There must be about several hundred cars down there uh, where I'm going. Yeah. So obviously, it's uh, I, other people have the same idea as me today. Okay, that's the, uh, this is going to be the first sighting of the village down there. Look at that, way down, maybe 500 feet below me. So this, unfor <laughs> unfortunately, I've got to, uh, <laughs> I've got to climb, uh, climb back up again. So, uh, close to a thousand foot of ascent, I think. Yeah, okay, so the sun's, oh, some sun's coming out again. <laughs> so maybe I will be in luck. This kind of reminds me, in a way, of the uh, of Switzerland. These steep mountain roads, and uh, huh. yeah, it's a pleasant uh, descent down that uh, tarmac road, zigzagging down the hillside. Uh, okay, let's see what's down here. Well, the Heritage Centre, because uh, of the lockdown, is closed. Uh, oh well. There's the uh, heritage centre, the former village, form formerly the village chapel. I don't know what that was over there, that building. Um, information on the former quarryman's village. Uh, it uh, built in 1878 and. It uh, accommodated 200 people. I like it. It's 
worth visiting. This is a discovery for me. I knew it was here, of course, but this is the first time I've been here. So I didn't realise that it was so popular here, but deservedly popular, well worth visiting. Okay, so uh, all these quarrymen's cottages, uh, if it wasn't for the virus, some of them are open and been, uh, uh, well, restored to how they were in, when, when the, uh, the quarrymen and their families lived in them. Uh, of course, now it's all, uh, well, uh, yeah, it's all, all closed down. Unfortunate, uh, you can't go inside to actually view the the interior of the cottages. But uh, this also, this uh, complex here also serves as a, a Welsh language centre. You can uh, stay here and take courses in the uh, the Welsh language. The, I think the cafe still owns. I'll have a cup. You can see all this was heavily quarried, all down, all round here. And that was the uh, the foreman's cottage. He could keep an eye on things from here, and also have a good view of the coast <laughs> and the sea. Yeah, the quarryman's foreman's cottage or house, the most substantial house in the village. Okay, so this is the good part. They're descending down to the coast, but then I got the uphill climb again. Then I'm, well, I won't attempt to pronounce it. Quithrin walk, uh, distance three hours. There it is there. Yeah, fantastic place. But I'm going to stop over in this cafe here uh, to uh, have a cup of tea. seating available so I came indoors indoor dining <laughs> yeah. okay so uh, I descend now well possibly well nearly 200 well about 200 feet down to the beach there we're not well yeah down somewhere down there a fantastic place, well worth visiting, yeah. And uh, 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 contact tracing is in place and uh, temperature checking, but yeah, there's the quarry man's house there, or the foreman's house. And uh, the chapel up there uh, houses the museum, but uh, not open, currently not open. There's a little Sculpture, I don't know what it's uh, recent sculpture there. Oops, sorry about that. As I say, this is the fun part descending. Fantastic place, I like it here. First time I've been, surprisingly. Okay, I have a choice here. I can actually uh, walk along this uh, uh, footpath here, or I could descend just. Um, just a little, little way down to the Porth Hernant beach down here, just a, what's well, just a few feet below me. Hardy adventurers out there canoeing. Mind you, it's not a bad day to canoe, not the winter's died down, it was quite breezy up the top. in the center I pretty well got the place to myself again there's uh, old quarry quarry buildings there so this would have been a hive of activity back in the late 19th century I'm hoping I don't get on uh, get go the wrong way here or do extra walking uh, 
because um, according to the uh, the OS map, the Ordnance Survey map, there's a footpath at the end of this beach that connects with the main path going back to the car park. I can't see any uh, obvious uh, obvious footpath at the end of this beach going going off to join the main path. So uh, just keep my fingers crossed. And it's a bit awkward walking on this. Uh, <laughs> This pebbly beach as well. You can't go along. Well, I can't go along at a very good pace. Making slow progress along this stony beach. Uh, doesn't look like it gets any better. I. Uh, there seems to be some kind of a zigzag path going up from that little headland there. Probably form a quarry. Paths for the quarry, uh, the, the quarry workings. Um, this uh, walk along the beach is not really recommended. Awkward, awkward walking. Uh, as long as there's a ascent path at the end of the beach, uh, all's well. Most of the work, but this part looks like the roughest bit. Just coming up the the uh, it's, a, it's a rocky section. There's no sign of a trodden. A trodden path along this beach, which uh, is what uh, is what uh, putting me off. Uh, it's um, certainly no. Of course, uh, any pathway would be uh, destroyed by the uh, incoming tides. But uh, can I make my way through here? It doesn't look all that promising. Uh, I've got uh, well, maybe a little over 200 yards of boulders to clamber over. Yeah, the the um, pamphlet guide, the, the guide guided walk uh, pamphlet um, indicates this uh, as an option to take this uh, beach walk, but uh, definitely not recommended. Really, uh, well for youngsters, of course, no problem. Uh, but still, it's a beautiful location. Only, only, only this this part of the walk is only recommended if you're young and fit. Uh, otherwise, uh, a golden oldie like me, I'm sorry about that. Uh, my phone keeps on ringing for some reason or other. Uh, but here's a trodden footpath here, so I'll see where this leads. I'm trying to find uh, signs of a, an ascent footpath here. But uh, there are some uh, people here, some fish and, uh, anglers at the end of that. Uh, oh, this looks like a. Uh, a mini uh, headland here. The young and f uh, fit, no problem. There's the there's the uh, preserved village over there. Uh, it took me well, it's taken me well over an hour to get here. And uh, oh, it's <laughs> fantastic coastal scenery. Uh, no one here, of course, which isn't a very good sign. So. There's a very steep ascent path there. I'm, I'm hoping that's. I, I can't see any obvious signs. Oh, there's a. Yeah, there's the mainland path over there. You can see it in the. Uh, that's the path where I'd have been far better off taking that path. Uh, but now I've gone this far, I'm going to have to somehow find my way up there. This. Uh, all this. Um, uh, stretch here was formed by the the quarry workers. Uh, uh, they were tough so and so's in those days. A lot of it was done by, a lot of that work was done by hand. Okay, now is there a, any kind of a path going up that slope? I've, uh, I don't like. Well, if I go all the way back to the the centre, uh, that in itself is quite a quite a walk. Okay, this looks promising, uh, like uh, like Captain Scott when he went to the Antarctic, he saw the Beardmore Gla Glacier going up to the uh, the plateau at 10,000 feet, and and knew that that was his uh, uh, route to the South Pole. But of course, uh, <laughs> let's face it, uh, I kind of almost feel 
uh, this discovery, this route up this, uh, well, pretty precipitous uh, hillside. I'm not out of the woods, so to speak, yet. Uh, just come up the incline, which is pretty handy. Uh, I presume that was the in incline they referred to in the guidebook, uh, constructed by the quarrymen. And, uh, but where does this lead to? I can see some semblance of a path just going up there. Oh, so. <laughs> okay, that was just a shortcut. Uh, this track continues going up here. Uh, Alright, so this, uh, this looks good. Uh, this track now will go all the way to the top. The track continues around that corner, but this is the first sign of civilization I've seen for a while. And does it indicate the right of way up here? That, uh, no arrows on that signpost, so uh, I decided to go this way. This track, I'm pretty sure, leads eventually back to the car. You can see these boulders they put in here when they constructed this track to stop the the uh, stop the uh, uh, quarry uh, wagons from tumbling down, <laughs> going off, because uh, the weather's not always like this. It's uh, thick mist quite often. Complain about this uh, footpath. And then, look at that. Uh, yeah, uh, the uh, Welsh coast path. So, I'm where it, so I must have been on the Wales coast path, but certainly wasn't well signposted uh, below. Stone was put there deliberately or at one time or not. Um, there's a handy little log. I'll have a break here. Uh, I still got uh, some ascenting, but I got over the steep part, I think. I think I noticed those coming behind me on that stony beach. So they're uh, well, uh, an example of what I call uh, young and fit. And there's some more walkers up there, but they came up the uh, the regular path. Right. So all's well that ends well. It's starting to level out a bit now. That's an unusual letterbox there. <laughs> along here. What's that path there? Huh. Yeah, let's just uh, check the map again. I might have been better off taking, this is a shortcut path, uh, I might have been better off carrying on and then doubling back. This is a little bit steep but no problem of course. That is there. Kind of a, looks like a stone bench, but it's all fenced off. Okay, I'm back on the uh, the actual uh, uh, the, the actual footpath, and uh, so it just uh, looks like swell signposted. evil and uh, here's a nice uh, spot for a panorama uh, that's the Snowdonia mountains over there I think yeah I think it is uh, yeah this is the peninsula here it's several miles broad, uh, wide a kind of something like a miniature Cornwall the end of this walk. Finally made it back to the uh, car park uh, just over there. And there's the uh, uh, yeah I like that I like that mountain Conical Mountain near Evil. Uh, 
I don't, don't know how it actually is. The Welsh pronounce it. 